All right, we uh, we back down here at the culvert. Uh, I got me a drowning rod set up right there. Been having issues with them stopping this culvert up right here. You can see it's been a long going problem with them stopping it up and us digging it out. What they do, they stop this up, it backs the water up, floods everything, floods off into the south end down there, and then going over on to Mrs. Uh, Carter's. Uh, set us three traps down here two days ago. Uh, yesterday we come down, had a big, big beaver on the uh, caster mound drowning rod set right there. Uh, caught, caught it, caught him, it looked like a male. Uh, reset everything, set us a foothold right here in the bottom of this uh, ditch here where the culvert comes in. Uh, I pulled it out, I'm about to reset it. Was so sitting right there trying to get it out and digging it out and digging water moxing right there. About three and a half, almost four foot long. Uh, wasn't moving. Shook my dad gum hole at him, didn't move, so I dad gum lit their tail up with a 22 snake shot. Uh, we got us another trap right up there on a run coming into this little old pool here. But we uh, also caught one this morning. We caught another little small beaver at the at the uh, drowning rod set. And I'll show y'all him. Uh, right there he is. I don't know if it's a good sign that the uh, water moccasins is water moccasins is bigger than the daggone beavers, but uh, if it that gum ain't, if it ain't a good sign, I guess we're just gonna have to start doing both of them at a time. There's a pretty good water moccasin. That's one of the bigger ones I've killed down here. I've killed four, or five, or and seen probably over a dozen, but. But yeah, when they bigger than the when they bigger than the babers, you might ought to get one of them here and there. We'll holler at y'all later.